Greetings everyone, this is Amethyst Tuesday. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and you think you'd enjoy my content because I really think you would, please subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so, so much for the support. I decided to do a little, uh, something a little different this time and, pro and provide y'all with a Q&A, a witchy Q&A. All right, answer some witchy questions instead of spicy questions this time, all right? I'm still going to do the spicy questions, don't get me wrong, because I know that keeps y'all entertained, but I'm going to do the witchy Q&A, okay? So, um, yeah. Uh, I made a, um, a post in a certain group, and I asked for, you know, some questions. And the Q&A has a few questions, very little. I'm, I'm not going to answer much for the first video, but, you know, I have it all sorted out, okay? So, one person asked me, this person said, I have some crystals gifted to me by an ex vex friend. How do I dispose of them, or would a simple cleansing suffi suffice? Okay. So crystals have their own energy and value, so no, you don't dispose of your crystals, really. You, they, they have their own energy, so if it was gifted to you, that means that, and, and this person is like your ex-friend or your enemy now, that means you need to, that means you just need to clear their energy off of the crystals, okay? Just cleanse their energy off of crystals but if you do dispose of the crystal if this doesn't work and you feel like you know there's still some kind of energy there because you know you would need a professional to clean off crystals not everyone knows how to cleanse crystals so if you do want to actually dispose of crystals it's best to throw them in like a river or some kind of body of water i'm not talking about a pool or or one of those fountains at the mall i'm talking about like bodies of water like the ocean a lake something like that Okay, so number two, someone had asked, what's a Christian witch, okay? Um, lately, this has been going around a lot, and I don't know if it'll still be going around around the time that I post this video, but yeah, this person asked, what is a Christian witch, all right? It's basically a Christian magical practitioner or whatever. A lot of people have different... Um, words and like meanings for it but this is like my definition of it there are you know christians who like go to church and you know read the bible but also use things in the bible to do magic like witches and you know and when when i talk about it sometimes a lot of people like laugh or be like oh what is a christian witch or sometimes they would make fun of people who claim to be christian witches i have no negative judgment on anyone's path of life okay christian witches are real all right and they are good at what they do i'm not saying they're lesser than other witches they're not lesser than eclectic witches or or dark witches voodoo witches hoodoo witches whatever all right there, okay? And I'm also going to do a video on types of witches too. But yeah, they can do all of that and that's what a Christian witch is. That's what Christian witches do and Christian witches is a thing. I'm so uncomfortable right now. Like, I don't know what's going on today. Okay? <clears throat> so, moving on to the next question. This is the third question and the last question. You guys know me. I like to keep these videos as short as possible. This um, question um, was my favorite question because I do have a lot to say about this. This question is, is it possible to accidentally hex somebody without realizing it? Well, my answer to that question is you'll always manifest what you truly feel inside, all right? If you hated this person, it wasn't an accident, all right? If you did the spell, it wasn't an accident. If you paid a witch to do a spell, also, it wasn't an accident, all right? There, there's a difference between making a mistake and making an accident or having an accident, whatever, all right? Spell, take, spell work takes energy. It takes intent 
you need to put it all into the work, all right? So there's no accidentally hexing someone, all right? Um, the intent has to be there for any type of working to work, any type of dark working especially to work, all right? It needs intent, power, all of that. Even with like foot track powder, you know what I'm saying? You can't accidentally drop some foot track powder and if someone steps in it, they're cursed. I don't, I don't believe that. And, and uh, yeah, it, it needs to come with intent. It's just dust if it's, if there's no intent. But, um, you know, yeah, and that's just my personal opinion. That's what I believe as a witch. And, yeah, that's all I have to say on that. So this was my first witchy q and I'm so, so sorry that it was so short. But I did my best, and I think I did okay. So, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and, subs and subscribe. Seduce that subscribe button. Cast the spell on that like button and turn off, turn on them post notifications. Don't turn them off. Don't turn them off. You got to turn them on. All right. Light the candles and turn them on. All right. So, yeah. Next week's videos are going to be very interesting. And I and my next videos, some of my next videos will be palmistry videos. So, I'm finally going to be posting those. So, keep an eye out for those. And, um... My contact information is in the description below if you would like any services done. This is Amethyst Tuesday wishing you well from afar. Bye-bye.